Hi friends, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator and welcome back to this channel. So today I want to share with you a little bit of a process on how we created this medical illustration of a lady with lung anatomy. Uh, this image was worked on by a couple of artists in our studio and I thought it would be an interesting thing to showcase to you our process into creating something like this. So let's get started. So whenever we're creating an illustration like this that requires like a specific pose or something like that, we've always found it useful to take reference photos. Most of the time it's a lot quicker for us to take photos of ourselves posing because we know what we want the figure to pose as rather than trying to source models or figures online. What we usually do is usually set up a camera, you know, we pile a bunch of books on top and we just take photos of ourselves and we pose in different ways. And then we splice these pictures together to create the kind of uh, design or the figure shape that we want for our medical illustrations. We're not models, so it's gonna be a little bit weird like drawing ourselves. And we also sometimes don't meet the demographic that we need to represent in our medical illustrations. And this is where skills in figure drawing really, really help because you're able to take one face from one model and just kind of draw it onto another figure pose. Doing this kind of practice day to day is a really useful skill to have, especially if you like posing a lot. <laughs> So that's all prep work. And now once we've done all that, we can actually dive in and begin to draw out our illustration. So and then this is sent off to an art director for review and notes. So for this one, our initial sketches was done by our artist Susie and Angela. And then here are some of my notes that I would give back to them. So once they've received my notes, what they'll do is they'll go back in and they'll polish it and bring the illustration up to the next round and produce a tighter sketch with all of the art direction notes implemented. Now, once the figure has been signed off, now comes the hard part, and that is doing the research and placing anatomy. So here we combine our anatomy and knowledge and training to block out the skeletal system. And what's great about figure drawing is you can use surface landmarks of the skin to block out where your skeleton is going to be placed, okay? Now here, what Angela's done is she's done her research. She's sketched out the anatomy of the respiratory system. And she's also added in labels and notes in her PSD file, which makes it easier for me to review or for another one of her team members to review as well. It's also great if you're doing a project that you're really unfamiliar with and writing the notes that you can turn on and off the layers in your PSD files. In fact, if you want to know how to structure PSD files, I'm going to link another video up here so you can take a look at it and that will give you a great idea of how we structure the layers of this PSD file. And now here's what the final image looks like. Once we've done a really solid figure, we have done our research with the anatomy, we can add in final line work and color to the illustration and put together the final piece. Now, if you wanna know how to place an anatomy underneath the skin so it doesn't look like it's stamped on, um, I've got another tutorial here that you can go check out as well on the channel. And it just gives you a quick tip on how to mask anatomy underneath the skin. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this and I hope this gives you like a little sneak peek into how we created a medical illustration like this. Comment below if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss video content like this. Thanks so much for watching!